What's up guys, this is Chris from Honest Outlaw here and today we are bringing you something I've been waiting for for so long. So 2020 SHOT Show in Vegas, there was a little gun called the Agastan Arms MDP-9. And that gun was pretty popular for the show. It was the first roller delayed AR 9mm I've ever seen. It was supposed to be awesome, amazing, everything. And then two years later, it still didn't come out until a couple of months ago when in fact it came out and I wished it didn't because it didn't work very well, nothing was advertised, gun kind of fell apart. I was very disappointed. That being said, there was another gun that they were talking about that was very similar from a company that I knew wouldn't mess things up and I don't believe they have. That little company, if you're unfamiliar, is JP Enterprises. JP Enterprises makes competition style firearms with absolutely no price cap. We'll get to that here in a minute. Now, JP Enterprises is a company that specializes in competition guns, particularly competition rifles. They do SPR builds, they do precision rifle builds, they do AR builds, and they do pistol caliber carbine builds. Now, pistol caliber carbines, in my opinion at least, is where they're known for the most, simply because that is the area of competition that I know the most. I'm not a big rifle competition guy, but I do shoot PCC, and in that, JP is essentially the one above all. Uh, there's the MPX, which is a pretty big deal, the PCC, the T Terran Tactical TR9, um, several other guns as well, but the JP guns generally get the job done, and it has many champions already switching over. The JMR15 was JP's last flagship PCC, and this is their current model. Now, this one, unlike the previous, has a roller-delayed system in it that is also adjustable. So it's got the MP5 roller-delayed system, which reduces the recoil, increases is the reliability and on top of that makes the gun pretty good to suppress but now we have an adjustable system so you can actually fine-tune it for your particular ammo to make that recoil impulse even lower this JP5 is the most expensive version and we did get it from Manning and Sons Manning and Sons is a longtime supporter of the channel the biggest supporter of the channel and not only is he supporting the uh, first shots of this gun but he's also buying the ammunition for the thousand round review so big ups to those guys over there super pro freedom super awesome guns so feel free to check them out I also want to mention the page supporters. Thank you guys very much. You help out the channel a lot. If you want to help the channel, all you got to do is go to the link in the description below, sign up, and in that description is a local shelter named Iowa, the YSS. It could use your help. So please get on and click that link, and donate to those kids. Now this JP5 is the most expensive version and it is coming in over $3,000. It has a pinned 14.5 inch uh, stainless steel barrel with a three, uh, three chamber break here. The barrel is literally of the highest possible quality you could imagine. Feel free to check the specs online. We have an M-Lock handguard here that I think is 13 inches long. And it not only is M-Lock, it's not only very lightweight, has a good solid lockup, it's a Midwest industries rail but it also has JP's proprietary coating on it which kind of looks flat black but the reason for that is because it has freaking texture on it like I'm not really sure how they did this but this isn't silicone carbide this is some sort of like skateboard tape texture in the actual aluminum itself uh, for the thousand round review I'll actually have the details on that but as soon as I grabbed this I was like wow that's super cool and I imagine a lot of companies are gonna go to that in the future got the the uh, t2 riding on top with the scalar works 193 or 197 I can't remember. This gun actually takes Glock mags, but unlike the MDP-9, the magazine release and the controls all work very, very well. Uh, beveled magazine wall in there, awesome a single stage JP trigger, uh, and we have a JP ambi safety with uh, ambi controls on either side. You can release the magazine release from either side. My wife's gonna love that. And then you can uh, release the slide or release the bolt from either side as well. Theoretically, if you were used to that battery of arms, you could load the gun, release the bolt, and be on the gun faster than using extra time to hit the ping pong paddle. Problem I have with that is that I was trying that last night and since I'm an old fogey and I've never used that before, I would literally load the mag, drop the mag, <laughs> and, and I messed with it a few times. But if I actually get that battery of arms down, it is gonna clear a step in my reload process and it will be faster. It's kind of like having an included bad lever. Uh, that doesn't get in your way and cause negligent discharge <laughs> like the bad lever can. Uh, we put the Magpul, Magpul XL grip on there because I love it. And then we also put the B5 system stock in there because this is actually the configuration on my ARs that I run. And I plan on using this as a trainer gun for my ARs. So uh, it actually comes with, I believe, a Ho grip and stock. Uh, I don't know if JP's got a thing with them, but that's not really my thing. I don't really like the rubber grips, so 
I replaced it with this. Cool billet receiver, upper and lower. They look absolutely excellent. The lines look really, really cool. And I gotta mention, guys, that this is not the first time I'm shooting it, even though this is the first shots video. It's just the first shots that you see. I've actually shot this a little bit on Instagram. And uh, if you follow me over there, I usually have guns on Instagram before I actually get them to YouTube. Interested, it's Honest Outlaw Reviews. That being said, we're gonna take this bad mother down, shoot a whole bunch of rounds through it. Uh, Nick from PewView on Instagram is gonna be here today as well. And we're gonna shred with this. Here we go. I popped a quick group up here. Well, obviously riding a little high left. The left is kind of my bad, I think. I was shooting like shit. But then I went down here and these felt real good. And both these are high and left too. So I'll just bump it down a couple clicks and maybe a couple to the right. Part of this is like zeroing up, part of it's just to kind of see how much bullseye accuracy I can get at 75 feet. Take a look at that. Okay. All right, so this is 25 meters here. One, two, three, four. They're all right there. So you've got a less than an inch group at 25 meters. So we just have to bump it down four clicks and over one, two-ish, two-ish. Oh, I missed. Ha, ah, that's funny. One, two, three, four. That's blazer brass. It's really good. Texture on the gr on the gr yeah, on the that rail. Yeah, feels amazing. I don't know what that is. That's a Midwest or an M-Lock rail. I thought it was Midwest, but it's a M-Lock from Magpul. But I don't know what coating it is. Grip tape. The trigger feels amazing. Oh my. It doesn't make sense, right? Damn. Perfect. That is extremely soft shooting. Thanks, Ethan, for your ammo. <laughs> All right, yes. You, you gotta give me one. Yes. Short people. <laughs> I thought it was out. That's how low recoil it has. Man, you've been shooting that thing, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it ran out. I was gonna run while I was This isn't gonna be a very long video because you guys just shred. We just shot 120 rounds through it already. All right, so we're gonna do a build drill at 100. Pretty good. Fuck, I can't hit that other one. There we go. There we go. 
Plate rack at 100. Little volley fire there, but we got her. 100. I don't know how much ammo you have, but I have another one in my pocket. Were you aiming for a little one? A uh, little bit higher. Okay. I found out I was going low. I got this one thing is so soft. Or I did, I thought. I do not have another one. I think you gotta hold a little bit right. Oh yeah. What'd you think? I think I'm gonna take this one home with me and uh <laughs> Right. It is a little right. Dude, you hit all three of them things. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Do you wanna get him like a stool or something? Alright, so first shots with the JP5. I have like maybe 150 rounds for it myself already. You got what? 60, something like that yeah, today. What do you think? I think that as many uh, PCCs as I shot, that thing's probably the fastest and the flattest, and uh, I say that without a doubt in my mind. I agree. I agree. With the, the MP5 system in an AR is no joke. You take the best system for 9mm and you put the best controls on it. You have no limitations of the MP5 design, and you have no limitations of the AR blowback system. So. All in all, I mean, it's amazing. On top of that, you can actually tweak this even more. If I wanted to, I could actually lower the weight to make the recoil less in the actual bolt carrier. And on top of that, I mean, we haven't done anything to this at all, like we were just talking off camera. I mean, you can add weights to this. I mean, this is a very lightweight gun. This is a sub six pound gun. And honestly, for me, like we were shooting, you know, the Terran with it, it's a little too light. Like, I mean, I'd like to have it a little heavier, a little more stable, and it'd have even less recoil then. Uh, the other thing is, uh, we're just using a regular T2. Once we put an actual competition-style optic on there, we're gonna be able to go even faster, which is pretty nuts. Uh, full reliability, uh, no problems whatsoever. Takes Glock mags, takes any ammo type that you'd like. Um, we didn't clean this, lube this, anything. We just took it out of the box, shot the shit out of it, and performed really, really well. I mean, plate racks at 150 yards easy, Yes, you were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, that's accuracy. That's hard to believe, right? Yeah, I mean, that's insane. When we grouped it, it was like two MOA ish, which is crazy for a nine millimeter gun. I mean, it's accurate enough to be a duty grade weapon and it's reliable and durable enough, but what it really shines with is competition. But for me, uh, not being the biggest PCC guy, I'm going to use it for a fucking trainer gun for ARs. So, yeah. Very smart. Super expensive, but super worth it. How much is it? Like $3,700, oh. I think, this version. The, I mean, the cheaper versions, <laughs> this is the most expensive. Yeah, right? It's fucking crazy. It's, it's probably worth that. It's T the tippy top. Well, yeah. I mean, it's twice what an MPX is, mm -hmm. which is bananas. It's as much as an MP5, maybe even a little more in some cases. But if you were to shoot this next to an MP5, if you were to shoot this next to an MPX, you're going to be able to tell. What's the philosophy of use, though? It's a competition gun. The fastest 9 millimeter yeah. AR you've ever competition seen. Competition guns Absolutely. and competition guys will pay for the advantage. Oh my yeah, god, yes. Sure. I mean, you're talking about dudes that pay 10 grand for a handgun, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. like if you mm -hmm. look at, if you go to the, the Open Nationals or anything like that, every gun there is 10,000 plus. That's true. So, well, yeah. I mean, for this, <laughs> like if you, if you give this to a guy that's going to run it in a national competition, this is just the beginning. He's mm -hmm. just going to put all kinds of shit on this thing mm -hmm. that's going to make it go faster. So, mm -hmm. base model of this is like 3,000. It goes up to four ish, depending on what parts and accessories you get. And then eventually, uh, JP is going to have like an a la carte system where you can kind of put whatever part on it you want, which is kind of how they design their rifles. Personally, me, I'd like to see that roller trigger. I don't know if you've ever tried one of those. Yeah, I have. Uh, yeah, it's crazy good. Very good. Or come out maybe with the hyper fire trigger, which we yeah. were just talking about. But yeah, other than that, phenomenal. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Please help out your local homeless shelters. Remember to recycle. I'll check you later.